human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, passes Terrier. When some wild-eyed ape puts all maniac grabs your neck, taps the back of your favorite head up against a barroom wall, he looks at Chris in the eye and he asks if you taste your dude. Inconceivable! Alive, it's alive! It's alive! Hey, it's Keep Public Radio. I'm Topher the Hairy Bastard, and with me is... What do you want to be called? Like, seriously. Like, I'm Topher the Hairy Bastard. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Job of the gut? That no. that sounds good. <laughs> That's funny. It was it was close. It was kind of clever. You know, I almost pulled out Fat Man last time, but... No, fat no, no, metal? I mean... Yeah, fat metal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit, I don't think you could fit much more metal in my body at this point. <laughs> we um, can try. Yeah. <laughs> They've been trying. <laughs> I've got enough lead in my ass, that's for sure. Um, man, I don't know. I, we'll just put it up for vote. What does Stafford's name need to be? Put it up for vote. You know what, though? We're just uh, we're just going to systematically ignore any any suggestion by Jim Hill, Patrick Brooks, <laughs> or Chris Eddy. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. Jim might come up with something that I might find uh, cute and use, but... I don't know. I, like I said, I like Job of the Gut. Fat Man. <laughs> That way we go, no, 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 fat man. I'm fat man. Yeah, See? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't had inspiration hasn't hit me yet, you know. I, I There's pills for that. Like, you know, <laughs> K-O-Pectate. You can just take a couple of them. You don't even have to drink the pink stuff. Yeah. You just take the pills and, and, oh, you said inspiration. Inspiration, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I, I've, <laughs> I've thought about it. I'm, I'm not sure, you know. It's kind of going. It's, it's, I'm new to this whole podcast and. I just like making up names. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, my whole my whole life is making up shit. Yeah, that's what I do. I could uh, embarrass the shit out of my cousin by uh, telling you the the story about how no, he got his gamer tag. No, tell him. tell this. No, we need to tell the story. <laughs> Your tell, gamer tag is irate night correct. because you are one angry angry man. Yes, yeah. I, my original email address used to be pissed underscore off underscore Irishman. <laughs> at hotmail.com but you know that is now gone defunct <coughs> so uh you know, so you can't send your hate mail there nope 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 uh you can, you know what though what the hell because people need an outlet you want to send hate mail to me i'll take it at voidwalker at live.com <laughs> that'll go straight to me it's not my that's, primary email but you know i'll that, still get it that's that's you know that's brave <laughs> yeah well you know what the hell <laughs> But, uh, no, I don't know. I mean, oh, the the story about, <laughs> yeah, I was, my, my gamer tags, I rate night. And when my cousin and I first started playing on the 360, he wanted, you know, wanted his gamer tag and everything instead of just being a guest or, you know, something. Um, he wanted something like mine, you know. Another buddy of mine had the uh, gamer tag of intoxicated night. Well, Josh really liked that. You know, he's like, well, you know, I just, I wish I could be that. I need something neat. I'm like, well, you know, we could do something. And I just kind of randomly rolled it. And it was like, Winnie or Night. I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, win, Winnie or Night. Now, I've seen it as soon as it popped up there. And this is the price he paid for not paying attention. <laughs> because, and as, as he'll listen to this later, maybe, he'll find out just how big a bastard I really am. Because <laughs> cause it popped up there and I seen it and I seen the, I seen the problem immediately. <laughs> I was like, "Hey, Winnie night? That's kind of it's kind of neat sounding, I guess. I mean, you wanted something night, you know? We'll go with that." He's like, "Yeah, okay, that that'd be all right. Yeah, that's cool. We'll do that, you know." So I set it up. When it was all said and done, he's like, "All right, you know, I'm gonna log into that." I was like, "Okay, log on in there, Wiener night." <laughs> what? I was like, "You better look at how that's spelled." He's like, "You mu-. and you know, it just goes on from there. I was like, "Yep, he's Wiener night, yeah, gobbler." <laughs> And uh, then you know he got he so got from pretty, now on he's going to be, I'm going to call him Wiener Night. Wiener Night. Well, actually, if you want to if you want to really get him, you want to get the way back machine to back when we were in school when we were playing AD and D. Yeah, playing AD and D. I I got on what, the last old, week. With, like that's what. No, no. I mean, because that was what was the new thing out. AD and D. Okay. Uh, I had made you know back on the when you had the old dot matrix printers. 
And You're talking about like works. second edition because that's what came yeah. out when we were younger. Yeah, I made on the computer. I made some character sheets and printed them off. You know, I had little things, and I, he, I told him, like, "Well, fill this out." You know, it's got you know like your name on there, and on, he he filled everything out for his character sheet. And on the on the age part, what he would writ what he'd written looked like. Well, what he had written was nine, almost ten. What it looked like was Alamostio. <laughs> and that followed him up until I had graduated high school. Alamostio. He was Alamostio. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so he went from Alamostio to Wiener Night. That's almost an upgrade. Yeah, almost. Well, you know, I, <laughs> I, I, I kind of had to redeem him a little bit. You know, he's like, oh, I don't want that. You know, you're an ass and... Yeah, well, you know, I am what I am. Sorry, buddy, but uh, you know. <laughs> so he is now, you know, his 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 tag now is uh, toxicated night. So not intoxicated. Not intoxicated. But he, because in well, intoxicated, intoxicated night was taken. is no longer taken. Correct. So, but he's already used his one freebie. Freebie, yeah, and we refuse to pay for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> So he's stuck with the toxicated. Toxicated, and it's not too bad. You know, no, it's, it's not bad. It could be worse. In fact, it's popped up a few times on my on my uh, yeah my thing, and I'm like, I don't know you. Yeah, now, you, now you do. You now, if it know. was Wiener Night, I would know exactly yeah, who. It you was. know exactly who it was. <laughs> so since since Wiener Night is no longer taken, you know, we're going to save some variation of that if uh, Eddie ever joins. The, <laughs> the, well, he'd have to actually. He sold his 360. Well, yeah, but you can pick that stuff up dirt cheap anymore, and you know, surely yeah. somebody in his family loves him enough to give him a three sixty. <laughs> <laughs> but he sold that for uh, for uh, some other stuff. Yeah. Um, he never played. He plays video. He plays PC games. Yeah. Well, he plays a uh, Warcraft. So. Yeah. But you know. Yeah, but uh, that was the story of how Alamostio became. Wiener night. <laughs> Alamostio. Alamostio. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'm an ass. <laughs> that boy, I don't know how, you know, if, if he wasn't family, I swear to God, I'd never hear from him, but, you know, <laughs> I, I really am, a, I'm, I'm quite the, quite the jackass. <laughs> well, That's Alamostio, the, if you're, if you're listening, we love you. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, he might listen, I don't know, I mean, I, I know he won't read a book, shit, he'll read a book, <laughs> save his life. He's he like, did that once. <laughs> he yeah. didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even get him to read the, the directions to anything. I mean, he wouldn't even read the ingredients on a can of soup. Well, he'd, re- he'd read them. I don't know if he'd comprehend them or not. <laughs> no, he's a good guy. I'm, I'm making him out. I'm, I'm being way more a dick now than I should be. So he is a pretty good dude. Uh, give you the shirt off his back. He, he is a good dude. And uh, He currently has your Jeep still, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Yeah, he's a... Uh, and the motor that goes in it. He's got two of them. Yeah, well, he's. I got. Uh, yeah, the. I mean, the motor that was in it's still in it. Uh, but we went over to Eddie's and picked up that other motor. And it is. I actually owe him fifty bucks for that motor stand. Because he was nice enough to go uh, front me the money for a engine stand to, to put that other motor on so that it can sit in the corner of his garage for years, <laughs> and I can constantly promise to to throw money at it. And, but no, well, anyway, well, that'll happen. Yeah, projects. Everybody gets projects. You know, some of us, you know, collect different things. And well, apparently, mine is to collect broadcast things. Yeah, like broadcast projects to do, and then like all my time is taken up <laughs> <laughs> doing well, the radio podcasts, other people's podcasts. Now a TV thing that we're working on. Whether or not a streaming television station, whether or not that happens, we'll never know. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, we'll eventually see. know. I mean, I'll give it a shot. Hell, I mean, I got a face for radio, so, you know. Well, we can put my... you in makeup and then totally do a horror host. <laughs> the Chud. The Chud. <laughs> God, we'll what, just paint what, you green. What did that sound? That, that was short for Cannibalistic Humanoid <laughs> Underground Dweller. Yeah. Boy, there's some useless facts for you. Man, <laughs> no, the shit we'll I remember you, from the we'll, 80s. We'll paint you green and put like a wig. I have like a whole storage shed full of wigs. No, you just, you just get you an old Gorn mask or something. I mean, well, no, like I was saying, like I have a picture of, it, of me being a fat David Borealis. 
Yeah. Like, I have I have a shit ton of wigs. In fact, that like because Gen Con's speaking of Gen Con, Gen Con is coming up here in the yeah. next week or two. Um, and you know, some of us are going. Some of us have the invitation, whether or not they're able to make it or not. Yeah. Um, I, I I would love I would love to make it. And I I hope I could make it, but honestly, at this point, I think I don't know. I mean. My oldest daughter might kick my butt if uh, I went without taking her, and I would—I really do want to take her one of these. You know, Unfortunately, she's going to be in, class, in school. Right, that's that's the thing. And though I've always made the comment that if kids can get out for 4-H and whatnot, and that's like like state fair and whatnot for like two weeks, right? They can get out a couple of days. No, it, when when, when the opportunity when the opportunity arises, and I've got some money to spend, you know, to, to go down to Indianapolis. And and to to do that, I don't care. I mean, I try I try to be you know education first, education first. You know, because that really is the future of the kid. You know, the kids' future. I, I am not just a, I'm I'm not a shitbag parent when it comes down mm-hmm. to it, but I will take her out of school to do that. I absolutely will. I well, mean, I don't blame, like you know because it's something. It's not something that happens all the time. You know, what I mean, no. and this well, honestly, this year is the fiftieth year of Gen Con. Yeah. I mean, it's a milestone. You know, I... It's actually... Gen Con is older than Comic-Con. Mm-hmm. San Diego Comic-Con is only 45. Right. You know, in the next five years, you'll see the 50th anniversary of, of Comic-Con. Right. But, you know, it's oldest... It's the largest and oldest gaming convention in the world. Right. And it's right here in our backyard. And you know the year that it came to Indiana, that I was, was yeah, yeah. Well, I, that was the, that has been the only there. year that I've made it to Gen Con. The only year I got to go was the year it first came to Indiana. In and fact, I walked by you. Somebody said that that you were there, and I didn't see you. I mean, I there, was pushing a buddy of mine, Chad. Yeah. And I walked by you and Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Yeah. Or Tweedledum and Tweedledumer, however you. Dip wanna. and shit. You can call them either one. Uh, and all I got was dirty mugs from dipping shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're here. They're and you were like, the, look at that. <laughs> yeah, man, I was, I was in a whole other world, literally. I was like, God, this is neater than shit. Yeah, I mean, I, it was my first convention. Uh, we've done, what's cool is we've done several as Geek Public Radio. And last year, me and Chetty went to PopCon. Yeah. Did the whole press thing. Like whatever, we actually got pictures on our Instagram and whatnot of fans who actually like came up and go, "Hey, you're so and so from Geek Public Radio." I was like, "Yeah," and they're like, "Can we get a picture with you?" I was like, "Somebody actually listens to us?" Yeah, <laughs> do yeah, really, sure. Do people really we're, listen to them? They're like, "You're Topher from Geek Public Radio," and I was like, "Yeah, that I am." And they're like, "That's awesome." Can I get a picture? So we're like. We have a couple of pictures that float around on on the the page and on on whatnot of people who actually like came up to us and wanted pictures with us. Huh. And we were just walking around with the camera gear, going, hey, "What do we do next?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, I seen I seen some of the stuff when you guys were down there uh, last year. The insane tables. The the <laughs> yeah the thirty thousand dollars. They're out of business. <laughs> I wonder why. No, but they had several, several people. The Geek Chic tables had had a lot of people who put down deposits because it was five thousand dollars just to be put on the waiting list. And that didn't seem and like a scam like to anybody. Thirty thousand dollars for a table. I was like, well, then they get a second mortgage. Why? My my question is this: Why should that cost thirty thousand dollars? Where do you justify that money? What costs artisans' time, the wood, paying off all the equipment you had to buy in order to to process that stuff? Man, I've never bought a car that cost thirty thousand dollars. I'm getting ready, and it's, it, when we start working on it, if I can it, getting well, as soon as I can get, probably as soon as Gen Con's over, and I can start actually spending money, and rather than 
I can like a squirrel trying to, you know, I must right. have as much as I can. Right. Um, I'm building my own. Yeah, that's. I think that's the way to go. And it'll be a nine foot by five foot table. We can fit twelve people at, with electric outlets, and a recess spot for board games. Right. So we can battle tech and all that yeah. stuff, and just put the tops the, the leaves back in, and covers let, everything up. It's a regular dining room table. Yeah. And yeah. it'll be big enough in this nice entertainment room that we got that it'll fit everybody and it'll fit in here and we won't have anybody and no issue. Well, you know, and what would you, okay, if you were to if you were going to make one of those and sell it. You know, in in all honesty, what do you think you would sell? I it don't for? know. I would sell it for a couple thousand dollars with the amount of work that would be in it. Okay, a couple thousand dollars is yeah. not $30,000. No. But it, and that thing, like the thirty I mean, thousand dollar one, has intensive. like has drawers and and right. fold down stuff and like weird ninja things that you can open up and next thing you know it's like a transformer and yeah it becomes you it know, becomes a Galvatron yeah yeah <laughs> you know so I mean there's a lot of engineering that goes into those tables right right but the problem was and, and i will faint it i will tell you that i'm ignorant on the sense of what happened after they folded because it's been a little while since they folded yeah I'm talking about like a few months yeah and at the time that i saw it it was up in the air what they were going to do with all the people who paid deposits i bet that money's gone it may be i don't know i i, I just i mean that's but that includes people like, because we were at the Gen Con where he picked one up, uh, Will Wheaton. Yeah. In fact, that's where I met him, was at the Geek Chic thing. I walked up and said, oh, that's pretty cool. He turned around and goes, it is, isn't it? And like was talking to the salesman, talking about getting his order in. Yeah. So what happened to Will Wheaton's table? Oh, he probably got his. You know. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. There is tons of people... Well, yeah, but they're not all Will Wheaton. Well, yeah. Shut up, Wesley. <laughs> Shut up. Single greatest episode ever. <laughs> but, Will, uh, Will Wheaton. Yeah. Whip. But, uh, Whip. Why do you pronounce the H? <laughs> I just, you know, I, I can't, I can't see, I can't even fathom. Talk stuff. about false economy. Going back to your... Talking, you know, going to uh, Paul, you know, Seth Rog- that Seth Rogen movie with the alien. Yeah, <laughs> it's all the false economy. Yeah, <laughs> that was a pretty good movie. <laughs> one of one of the few Seth Rogen movies that I like. Though I love Preacher, and he, him and his co-producers on that hit it out the hit it out the park. Yeah, it's... they backed a winning horse, in my opinion. I'm uh, ADD show part two. It's it's been okay. It's it's been okay so far. Like I say, I watched the first season, but man, there were times that I kind of really had to push myself to to get through it. Well, like I, said, it was, I was like, everybody's like the people. I, I, I try to like, give every I try to give every show at least one one season, especially when it's only ten episodes. Well, Usually, by the time you hit three episodes in, it should be gaining up and getting my attention. And this held on until like. Eight. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> well, it was telling the backstory because you know the the comic books started off after he was no longer a preacher. Preacher, you know, like he was no longer being a preacher. He was right, on the road right. doing his stuff, and and he was already in in his mode of searching for God. Right. So they wanted to give the backstory and tell everybody a little bit about what was going on before we launched into it. So this was a perfect opportunity to do him getting Genesis and dealing with the whole fact and and, and, and whatnot. Introducing, uh, you know, the Irish vampire. Yeah. um, Yeah, my brain shut off too. Yeah. (laughs) I'm blaming the wine. I Um, like blaming wine. Why can't I think of his name? Okay, anyway. Yeah, you know, like introducing all these different characters. And now season two has been going on telling the story of him chasing down God because God's AWOL. Yeah. 
and he's trying to find God. Yeah. And it's still flashing back every now and then, telling you what happened before he was a preacher in the first season. Yeah. So you're getting to fill in and know the characters more. You're getting to know uh, the situations more. You're getting to know, and you're still moving forward with him just now starting to go search for God. Yeah. And you're also dealing with the the, uh, Santa killers. The 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 cowboy. It, you know, and then you know that's from the comic book. Uh, Hair Star is getting ready to make an appearance uh, from the comic book. Uh, Hitler it made an appearance from the comic book. Hitler, Arseface, like Adolf Hitler. Yeah, Arseface is is it made an appearance in the first season. Yeah, um, and you know, and and a lot of these characters from the comic books are starting to appear in the series, and it's. I have fun with it. I'm like, yeah. yay! <laughs> Every week, I'm like, it's preacher time. Yeah, I see those posts. <laughs> I can't help it. I, I I genuinely love the show. It's. I mean, it, it was it was okay. I mean, I'll, I'll I'll I will watch season two. I just have you read the comics? No, I haven't. If I told you a couple things that happened in the comics, would it take away from the show? I don't know. I don't know. It all has to deal around with the the Santa killers. So what I guess I'm going to say is major spoiler alert if you haven't watched the com- or read the comics and and whatnot because I well. I don't know if this is the direction the series is going to go. Oh, that don't matter. Go ahead and tell me because it's it's not going to affect how I think. Uh... Well, I want to make sure, like, spoiler alert, flashing red light, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. If you haven't read the comics, fucking read the comics. They're amazing. Um, People say that about The Walking Dead, too. Well, I liked The Walking Dead comics, but I didn't like, I mean, after the season three of Walking Dead, I really didn't care. I have wanted Carl dead for four years now. Um, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, but the, uh, uh, there's a, there's images of, like, badass, fut- like, grown up Carl with the, like, I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, but no, like, I have a man crush on the comic book character of Santa the Santa Killers. He is a badass mofo. He's a badass mother. Shut your mouth. I just talk about the Santa Killers. You want to have his babies. <laughs> but um, in the comics, he was a Civil War soldier. You know, he was he was called the uh, the butcher of of, of uh, Bakersfield or something. No, it was uh, Gettysburg. Yeah, but, uh, and butcher you know, of Bakersfield was the running man. <laughs> like all of this stuff. Like, he's this big, you know, and he went to hell. Yeah. And the devil actually whipped him, shredded all his clothes. He went to hell fully clothed, whatever, and like his, his clothes were shredded, you know, as the devil whipped him and all this stuff. And finally he got forged. He was forged into this, uh, real, like, Killing machine. He was like the assassin. God would say this person needs to die, and he would go out and kill this person. Like that was his. The Saint of Killers was like the holy assassin. He didn't. He made friend. Like I don't know if you call it friends. He was the angel of death. Actually, took his blade, forged it into two guns. And that's the weapons that he carries. Right. He doesn't like being told what to do and, and, and certain things. He doesn't like to be righted so much so that he fucking killed the devil. Okay, I'm trying really hard not to get in like a theological discussion now. Well, no, just like anything when you talk about death reaping anybody. Right. He has death size right. in gun form. Right. On his hips. Right. He can reap anybody. 
the devil got started to get on him about what you know stuff. Read the comics. It's it's a, I love the kind. He reaped the devil. So then, who's in charge of hell? Our it's space? a bureaucracy. It's a bureaucracy now. Oh. It's a whole thing. Uh, <laughs> And, and you know, trying to get in, trying, trying desperately hard not to get into the theological discussion. Well, you're talking How about a series that, that God has... can't just make somebody dead. <laughs> I mean, why does he need to hit man? Well, you got to think of, of he's busy. What's I think he doing? It's really the thing. Well, right now, I, I he's out in jazz clubs. God's not in heaven. Season two. Preacher, like I said, well, okay, okay, like, yeah, yeah, for for that, but I'm I'm just thinking in the, in the whole, <laughs> and that's pretty much where he pre- preachers at is he God's on earth, so they haven't made the Santa Killers yet. No, in the in the series, Santa Killers is already there. He's been okay, released, but, then, and then, but but that's the thing, you know, because when we see him in the series, you know, he's in. It's hell. a little different. Um, now you he's actually tracking after. He is actually now going after Jesse. Okay, so when he's not actively going after somebody, he stays in hell? Yeah. That seems like a bum deal. Well, see, the thing if, in if the comic in books, in the with, comic if, books, if, he if, can walk in and out of heaven anytime he wanted. Right. And supposedly, you know, one could assume he could walk in and out of hell whenever he wanted. Then know. why would he choose that? Well, he's not, he doesn't have a soul. He doesn't, he, he, he exists outside of the realm of things. He's just. An instrument, which is what, you know, when he started to be treated bad by the, you know, that's when he went, boom, just shot him straight in the face. Well, I think we've all been there. <laughs> um, so, Jesse was, or uh, he was pointed at Jesse because right. Jesse was, a, you know, Because ha- he has the Genesis. genesis. Um, and in the comic books... Jesse sat down with him, and it, 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 he's the only person who has ever made him stay his hand from killing. Yeah. He did so with the word, thanks to Genesis, and basically looked at him and said, God did this, God did this, God did this. He's the one who's put you on this path, yada, yada, yada. And actually sent the saint to killers after God. After God. The very end of the comic series. Man, I thought I was treading, you know, weird water when I was watching Lucifer. <laughs> At the end of the entire series, and like I said, this is an awesome series. I loved it to death. Jesse got rid of Genesis, like expelled Genesis and all that stuff. And would they sing it out of him again? The Saint of Killers was supposedly did whatever. Um and once Genesis was gone. That was apparently was the whole reason that God wasn't in heaven anymore. He was hiding from Genesis because he made a creature that uh, finally was equal to him, and he wanted to see if he could make friends with it. Oh, and when he went sideways, he just bailed mm. and sent the Santa Killers after him. So uh, we. Uh, that's where we get into now. Like the whole reason that the hunt, the alien or the aliens, the angels are hunt or have sent the Santa killers after Jesse is because God is afraid of Genesis. Okay. Um. So like we have this whole thing. Finally, at the very end, they trick God to going back to the throne, and when God sits down on the throne, the Santa killer steps out. Hmm. Reaps God, sits on the throne, and goes to sleep. The Santa Killers does. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as far as we know, and that's the end of the thing, that he just goes to sleep and sleeps forever. Like, he, he went to his eternal sleep by by ending the thing. Hmm. Okay. Loved that storyline. That was, um, like, I... There were some spots in the in in the comic books that I'm like, yeah, this is oh really, <laughs> you know. But like when I got through just the Santa Killer storyline, I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. That's you know. different. I, whether or not they play it out in the in the TV series that way or not, that's that's completely. I mean, it's a separate separate deal. Right. 
However, if they get close to that, I will be so happy. I, you'll see me every going, yay! <laughs> I'm like clapping with both my hands and my feet. Yeah. You know, it was just, I was, uh, yeah. Like I said, that whole concept for a character is awesome. Yeah. Um, like, I've patterned different things after just that concept. Right. Different setups and whatever, but just that whole mentality in mind of the person who reaps. Like, that's his job. He's just, he's there to, he doesn't miss. He can't be killed. In fact, in the comic book, uh, you have uh, Hairstar and his his group and the U.S. fucking military. Yeah. Going after the Santa Killers. And he wipes them off. Takes a, a, a tank shot to the chest. Um, he gets hit with a nuclear weapon. Jeez. And he gets up. And the only thing he says is not good enough. Huh. Yeah. So, I mean, that's where, you know. Yeah. I, don't, I mean, something that's indestructible. The only His only weakness is the word of God, which Genesis has. Yeah. And apparently something, you know, stuff to do with his family. Yeah. Like that whole situation. That's his only weaknesses. But he's fallible. Right. Like he, he has his issues, he does his stuff, but he's just a really cool character. Okay. So you got your little bromance going. Yeah, I like it. That's that's the one character that I like if anything is like what can you what would you like to play in this game? Saying the killers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you you can't. You said any. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care, you said yes. Yeah. <laughs> you saw that could be anything. So. Yeah. But you know. Yeah. But that's my, my, my thing on Preacher Season 2. I mean, in, in the comic books. But yeah, so. Yeah. Hey, we got flashy lights. It's a disco. Yeah. Fire engine. Is that, was it on mute? No, it was, uh. At, after midnight, they run as little as possible. Okay, because it was like, we. Well, we've got headphones on. But even with headphones, that would be loud. Well, yeah, but but after after. I know because when they go by, by during the day, the dog was like out sit, sitting at the window. Yeah, they're not. They don't. They purposely don't go full blast at night unless they were coming up like a busy intersection or something. I guess I don't know. it's a courtesy thing. Well, they only I, do I it when they have it. to. Yeah. So does um, everybody else that's asleep on this block except for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you know. Living my wife's on the phone with my son over, you know, uh, in the other room. So yeah, she's like, "I'm coming home." But uh, so yeah, so we talked about preacher. Yeah. We blink. Bright. Bright. Bright's the new thing from Netflix that that's coming out. I'm uh, bad with names. <laughs> Blink 182. Right. <laughs> yeah, so that's what, we'll talk about Blink and then 182 and 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 whatnot. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Bright. Bright. What is your your reaction to that? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, I I saw the trailer for it. Um, it's an interesting concept. Um, straight to Netflix and what was it? December, I want to say. Something like that. I think. Um, Orcs as cops can't be any worse than what we just dealt with. <laughs> um, it does look like an interesting take on the Shadow Run. Yeah, where you have supernatural things in everyday life. Right, right. Yeah. It's a uh, it's an interesting interesting take. I mean, Once Upon a Time's done okay, so I guess you can mix that kind of thing. Uh, well, Once Upon a Time is a little different. Yeah, it is. It is. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you still have those elements, I guess. Um, interesting that a magic wand isn't as prevalent as you would think it would be. and you know, <laughs> Because they refer to it as like a nuclear weapon, you know. <laughs> it's in play. The wand is in play. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it looked interesting. I mean, we'll see if uh, Will Smith can pull it off. I mean, nothing looked. 
too cheesy. I mean, it looked – I wasn't quite sure how to take it at first. Um, yeah. I, like but, you know, it's got an Alien Nation feel to it, too. Kind of, yes. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm down to take it. I, I'll take a look at it. We'll see. You know, I mean, what am I going to do, waste an hour and a half of my life? Well, I've been known to waste worse. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, it, it, it looks decent. I mean, decent enough, I'll check it out. And if it's a flop, it's a flop. If, uh, you know, it's not, then okay. You know, it's, it's an interesting interesting spin on stuff, I guess. It was one of those things that, like, when I watched this, the, the, the thing, it, I don't know, like, it did pique my interest. Yeah. It did make it go, hmm. Which, if if you can grab me for the first whatever and say, and make me go, I is this okay? Like, is this going to be good? I may give it, you know. Yeah, I mean, like at first <clears throat> I looked at it, I was like, what is this? And then it went, went on and I was like, okay, well, all right. You know, at least I can watch Will Smith make some jokes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fairy lives don't matter today. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see a flaming from something you know, <laughs> just because of that statement. But, you know, hey, like I said, you know, where to direct the hate mail. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it was a, what, like a two minute. It, it minute almost trailer. makes me want to put up a sign that says fairy lives matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but do they? <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to Supernatural. Yeah. The whole Elwood episode. <laughs> with the, fight the fairies! <laughs> you fight those fairies! After Tinkerbell got nuked. Yeah. <laughs> Boobs? Or nipples? Yeah. <laughs> and she ceases to exist. But. You know, that kind of goes back well, along those lines. Yeah. That goes to, like, um, the different stuff that has been coming. Like, American Gods. Have you been able to... I have not watched that yet, though. That did pique my interest. I I want, I would like to take a look at it, but I've got so many irons in the fire One of my favorites. And it's only, uh, I think, ten episodes. Not even that. I think it's eight episodes. Oh, yeah? Like, literally, first season, you should should be able to go through it. Yeah, shit, I can do that in a day. Uh, (laughs) Right? Um, but, uh, uh, it's definitely something that I, I loved. Yeah. Um, Jim loved it. Yeah. Um, I'm on board with anything that Ian McShane does anymore. I, know, I, I've liked him since Deadwood. I liked him in Death Race. The movie was horrible otherwise. You know, when but, he, was, he, he looks at you and he's like, you know, well, who are you? Well, what is today? Well, it's Wednesday. It's my day. You know? Yeah. I had to explain to Heather... Woden's Day, yeah, you know the whole thing. And when he finally came out, at, and he told him like, "I am Odin," and like he fucking did the whole become, and like that was like awesome. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you have uh, six foot three leprechaun. Yeah. You know the whole thing. He's actually was the king of the leprechaun or king of the faithful, or whatever king of the leprechauns. Yeah. And he was, you know, it sh- in one of the episodes, it showed his story of coming to the, the new world. Yeah. And all that, you know. In each one, it shows a, a god coming to the to the Americas. Yeah. And then they had the story along with that little snippet of that god coming to the, to the new world. Yeah. And like I said, I, I, I loved it. I You know, you can see Neil Gaiman's hand on it. Yeah. You can, you know. And, you know, there are some things I kind of rolled my eyes at. And like, great. Yeah. Because of some of the stuff that they were doing. Yeah. And then, but I, you know, it was a good se- Like, so far, I'm, I'm so looking forward to season two. Or series two to our friends across the pond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that they'd done it that way until I started watching that Sherlock. <laughs> Which was uh, series two, series three. Yeah, I'm like series. Oh, season. Okay. <coughs> yeah. So I was like, but you know, um, 
Yeah. So we've almost killed another bottle. Yeah, we have, haven't we? It's not quite dead yet. It's feeling better. <laughs> I don't want to go on the cart. We didn't. Le- we didn't let that thing breathe long enough. I mean, we just straight drowned it. That happens. Yeah. It's breathed now. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, there's about an inch at the bottom of it. That's <laughs> it. Oh, uh, there's about two, three. And that, that's right? that's saying something too. Because oh, okay. I'm looking at the other. Yeah, I was looking at Eddie's bottle, not Bill's bottle. Yeah, there's about two glasses left in that. Yeah, that's probably about the size of Eddie's bottle. <laughs> Eddie's a stingy sucker. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. He's like, I got to get 36 bottles. Well, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Bill like gets him. five. Yeah, like, Here you go. You guys are getting wasted. But, um, so yeah, so this is Geek Public Radio on geekpublicradio.com. I am inebriated. <laughs> that's when we do our best work. Yes. I, that's where I'm at my most ADD. Yeah, we can get back to Gen Con if you want. Yes. <laughs> we, tar- we, we, we we started, started off with that, and then we got off on because the uh, Geek Cheek. The Geek uh, Cheek, they're, they, they're Geek Tables? Yeah, they uh And the fact that I'm going to say screw that and build my own? Right. And then... Uh, with we, electrical outlets right. that plugs into the floor. Yeah. Because I own the house, I can put an electrical outlet dead center in the floor. Yep. The, uh, I have. I am that cool. Well, you're the homeowner. You can do whatever you want. So, I don't know about doing all that right there. <laughs> don't mind me. Yeah, I, just, <laughs> I didn't. No, but uh, wasn't so, ready for that. I hadn't had enough wine for that to happen. Well, here, drink up. I'm gonna close my eyes. Too. Good lord. <laughs> but but uh, so, like, Gen Con's coming up. We we are. Taking along 10 people this year. Yeah. For Hopefully next year, 15. Not for just Geek Public Radio, but Dog Day Studios and everybody else. Mm. We do have three movies showing mm. that we're connected to. Um, four that have my name on it. <laughs> by the end of this, by the time we turn everything around, all 29, 129 films are going to have me connected to it one way or another. If that maybe like 10 years down the road, everything's going to have my name on it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. No, so like we're going to be there in force this year. Yeah. Um, we do have uh, the GPR short. Uh, for the kids. For the kids. If you haven't seen it, it is up on the Geek Public Radio web uh, YouTube channel. Uh, no children were harmed in the making of this short. I don't know. RJ came out with a concussion, so ah, he's fine. He's a big boy. He, <laughs> he can't, like, walk it. Here's a salt tablet. Walk it off. <laughs> Here, walk it off. Run down to the store. Here's here's the keys. <laughs> Go get Daddy some smokes. <laughs> <laughs> Go get me a beer. Yeah. Well, I can't do that anymore. Give me some wine. Oh, you can send him for beer, you know, then he can drink his own damn beer. <laughs> He's not old enough yet. Oh, well, then, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. That's then how's he going to get you some wine? I don't know. Oh, uh, send I him over to Eddie's. Him. There you go. Oh. Hey. You won't have to send any money because Eddie will take it out of the <laughs> tray. <laughs> but anyway. You look pretty good in the pants here, boy. Back to. <laughs> stop, stop, let's stop talking about, you know, pimping my son out for alcohol. Well, I mean, it's, and it could be a science experiment. I mean, we're sending <laughs> him to the lair of Gigantopithecus. <laughs> so, well, let's see. Your hair's kind of curly. He's kind of curly. Let's see if you stick together like Velcro. Gives a whole new <laughs> meaning to the term squatching. <laughs> oh, boy. I am Topher the Hairy Bastard. But the guy we're talking about is... Eddie the Harry Buffalo. Well, you know, we he, he, we do Eddie, call him Yeti. 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 Sasquatch. Gigantopithecus. Now. Gigantopithecus. I yeah. Um, I mean, when the dude takes his sh- when the dude takes his shirt off, looks like he's wearing a sweater. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he will get stuck to a a, a pad of Brillo. Uh, yeah. Like you know, that's, I have been living for the moment that, like you know, for some reason he's got his shirt off and we're walking past one of those human fly <laughs> wall things. I am, I will throw my back out, throwing his butt up 
No, me, I'm talking about like sneaking into his shower and replacing his shampoo with Nair. With, with Nair. That's a cold shot. I don't know if there's or his there. body wash, like like you know, like hey, you should check this body wash out, and like and like oh my god, like it's and then it looked like a uh, a shaved uh, yak, yeah, you know, like <laughs> you know, like the the, the things that, like the cats that you know, it looks like one of those cats that doesn't have any hair, just looking you're like <laughs> the Spanx <"Rrr."> cats, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I made a made a joke. Man. We brought up Alamostio last last time. Uh, <laughs> I made a joke. He started, you know, he's, his dad, you know, my Uncle Jim, he, he can't, uh, he can't grow a beard, but he can grow a hell of a mustache. And Josh, I, I told him, I'm like, you, you just got to keep shaving it, got to keep shaving it, eventually it'll come in right. And then, that's what I told my son. Yeah. I mean, that that's really, that's what you got to do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, he stuck with it, but, you know, he had to listen to me make fun of him every time that he'd show up with, you know, pot. Remember the Beavis and Butthead where they glued beards on? <laughs> you know, that's kind of what you're looking at, you know. And, uh, RJ's, did, RJ's in the stage of uh, coming out all Joe Dirt. Mm. It grows here. He did He did, uh, He did. did do a pretty, I'm not going to say impressive one, but he did a, a decent looking one. Like, um, he, he's got here. Yeah, he's got like the. Like under the chin. That's yeah, it. I don't know. The, I've seen like, people do that. They do just the circle underneath the, yeah. like on the neck. That's all he's got. I don't know. If, I think that's like a. He can probably grow a I fine neck beard. I think it's a ball cushion. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's like so you don't get punched in the throat when they're slapping you. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but no, Josh. Again, <laughs> direct all. Yeah. The, it, it happens. All, it all happens. anger. Yeah. Um. But I, I told him. I said, you know, he come in with us with his beard. He's you know just like beaming from ear to ear and. I'm, and you know, it, it for him it looked good. It, it looked good. <laughs> no, that he was able to actually produce that much hair out of his face. And uh, and no, it was it was. I mean, it wasn't as thick as like mine is when you know I look like you know the Unabomber. But uh, <laughs> you know, it, it, for him it was pretty. It wasn't as thick, but it was un, it was more uniform. Ooh. So, Ooh. Uh, Chetty the hair suit hair suit marsupial. We got to cut a pouch in him. I think he has one. Well, I'm not talking about. Oh, oh wait, oh. <laughs> Maybe he does have a pouch. I don't know. Um, we got to take Eddie Jenny out of the, the hair He's, he's going to he's going to get a complex if we keep talking about him. Um, <laughs> he already does. Yeah, but you know, I mean, uh, he doesn't want to get on the mic. So yeah, he, oh, has, he doesn't. He said he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. I'm going to get hell. One, there's going to be one episode. Then, as soon as he listens to these, oh, well, he's gonna... listened to every single one. Of oh, them. has he? Yeah. Okay. He 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 thought you were did, did a great job on your very first one. Yeah. He was like, "That's awesome." Well, I'm taken, so you know he can't have me. <laughs> um, <laughs> he loved it. He actually that was like the third episode he listened to really? out of five years of being on the air. Hmm. He, the... Well, I think okay. Then I'm going to make this challenge now. For him to get his ass up out of the bed, out of the chair, <laughs> shower first, preferably. Hopefully. Comb your back. <laughs> get get your clothes on. Braid your butt hair. Whatever it is you got to do. Get over here and get on the mic one night. And he's like, everybody sounds different. And I don't every, think I can do that. Every shot you take at me, I will take with a smile on my face. And I won't say nothing back to you. You this hear is, that? You hear that, Chetty? This he is said the he, only you can, time I will keep my mouth shut and not give you hell. You, you, you can give him shots to the face and, and he, won't, he won't care. Oh, that was low. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, you know, let's get back to Gen he, Con. He can, you know, he, 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 sure, you know, what the hell? Because he ain't never going to get over here. Well, that, that okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's get back to Gen not, Con. I ain't really. Uh, <laughs> no. No, well, yeah, we'll get back to Gen Con real quick. I want to say uh, I, what I was getting back with Josh because I keep branching. Uh, this is the ADD show. Yes, means. it is. It really is. I mean, squirrel. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, ooh, shiny. Um, no, he come, he come into the house one time and... Uh, you know, he's just kind of beaming because he's got his, 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 it's actually uniform. And he's like, he got this just dumb look on his face. And uh, he's like, I was like, 
do you shave a yak? I was like, where'd you get that hair? I was like, that's yak hair. Don't give me no gra- – that's yak you, fur. You shaved a Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, it's, it's 100% genuine yak fur. <laughs> you know, so he, he take he, – he, at least the kid can take a joke because if he couldn't, he'd have killed me by now. <laughs> no, I had no joke because, I mean, I've – Well, I, he I, had I, to learn the hard way. Yeah, he did. But, I mean, me and him, you know, we're, we're cousins. But we might as well have been raised as brothers, and he took so much shit off of me, and he has bailed my ass out so many times. I, it, I mean, there's no way I could repay him for it. But uh, you know, and so I still keep taking shots at him. But you know, hey, it, it, he gets. Don't think that kid don't get his own shots in. Well, no, I we know. We just don't talk about him. He's forbidden to speak of. Him. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gets he gets some good shots in on occasion. Josh is pretty quick witted. Yeah, he well, he yeah. had to be. I well, went, yeah, I mean, I it's mean, a self defense mechanism. Yeah, absolutely, and and he's not as quick as I am. I mean, there's been times where you know something's <laughs> happened in life. You well, know? Uh, pretty soon the you know, the apprentice will surpass the master. No, no, because oh, you never yeah. teach them all your tricks. <laughs> there's always two, buddy. There's always two. <laughs> there's always two. Yep. But okay, back to Gen Con. Back now to that Gen we talk Con. about yak hair and <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, Eddie braiding his butt hair. <laughs> So, if we can get him to quit crying, he can come in here and get on a mic. Gen Con's coming up in a couple of weeks. We will be there in force. Mm-hmm. Um, we will be doing some fun stuff. If you see us there, and all you have to do is hit the Geek Public Radio page. My face is plastered all over that some bitch. I'm in hiding. You'll never, you'll never know who I am. Yeah, you'll be like, <laughs> are you? No, are you? Mm. But. Uh, Come up to us, say hi, get a picture with us. Uh, the best picture with us will win a prize. We don't know yet. It may end up being uh, one of the uh, the games that we have, one of the items we have from the game store. Okay, uh, they're they're gonna they're gonna take a picture take, with us. Take, are post we it on like the group. Selfies. Yes, like okay. Come up, you know, and you could win a, a something from our game store. Well, there you go. That's that's pretty. I mean. Um, Depending on what I haven't sold. Cosplay encouraged, <laughs> I guess, because, you know, who wouldn't want their picture taken with a chicken chain mail or a slave Leia? I'm not a chicken chain mail or a slave Leia. Well, I just had this horrible, horrible <laughs> thought of Eddie and chain mail. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pinching. That I, would, like, that would, no, it just, I that mean, would pull. Like, yeah, it, pull. you'd move it and you're like, I think ah, about I'm, the times, you know, I used to wear, I used to wear a rope necklace with a cross on it. And uh, I would think of the times, like, when I had my beard. It would get caught in that, and and I wouldn't, and I'd turn, and I'm like, oh god, you pull a pull a yeah. neck hair. Imagine pulling your nipple hair. Well, you know those those that chain mail. You know, if you get the two piece job, <laughs> you know, you know, there's a loincloth that can, that's going to do some pulling. You know, I know he's no he's no uh, he's no stranger to the to the chain mail dice bag. You know? <laughs> I, I know, I know. Uh, oh, okay. I, I'm Did, glad we're not we're not regulated by the FCC. <laughs> Just to, to let everybody know, my wife got a chainmail dice bag. Yeah, allegedly. And allegedly <laughs> a dice bag. I know what happened. Yeah, and it's it, the same thing every man would do. It, it, it's a nice, good size, and things happen. Because he's not going to say it was small. <laughs> no, it, you know. But uh, uh, <laughs> funny thing is, is I tried, and it wouldn't fit. But because <laughs> you know you want to you want to protect the no the opening was only oh, this big okay. <laughs> like that was the opening <laughs> even if you're well, small were you trying to put everything in there yeah I was just tuck the oh, whole okay, you, know, okay, gotcha, like you protect gotcha. yourself right right because who wants to take an arrow to the scrot right I used to be an adventurer <laughs> I took an arrow to the knee <laughs> I took an arrow to the scrot I forgot my my cod piece. That <laughs> I forgot my ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> bag of holding. Bag of holding takes. So holding. you know, it was just one of those things that was like any guy talking to his wife and hanging out and whatever. Like, ha ha ha! Hey, look, look, look at this. She didn't care. She thought it was funny. She laughed. We we had a good time. Fast forward a few weeks. We're gaming. Somebody said, like, oh, a chainmail dice bag, that's cool. And like, it never gets old. <laughs> and they go, hey, let me see that. And reach over and grab it and is looking at it and doing all this stuff. And they hand it over to my buddy Jim. And Jim goes, no, thank you. <laughs> it looks nice. He's the guy that would have been the next thing. 
He knows. <laughs> and and my buddy is like, oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I could probably make that. Like just rubbing his fingers all over it and all this stuff. And he goes, he goes, why don't you want to see it? And Jim's like, I know what I'd do with it. <laughs> he probably already did. I don't want to touch it. Yep. And he looked at me and goes, what? And I, and I go, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. And he goes, oh, bull crap. I would have put my nuts in it right off the bat. <laughs> I was like, okay, I did. <laughs> and he goes, and he looked at Chetty and went, you're touching his nuts by proxy. Yep. <laughs> and Chetty went, home, oh. <laughs> just dropped it and went, God, God, dang it. <laughs> well, and following that similar line of thinking, I told you we went over and got that motor from Chris the other day. Uh-huh. Well. While we were up there, he was to- he was showing us the stuff that he just finished turning on his wood lathe. One of these like pestle th- or no, it's a it's something to do with crochet, and it's like I tell you what it looks like, and that's why when he threw it at me, I just held my shirt out and let it land in my yeah. shirt because I didn't think he'd want it all scuffed up from the gravel driveway. But I wasn't touching his butt plug. <laughs> I think it's a darning egg. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly <laughs> it. And, and the thing was like, I'm like no. <laughs> no, I was like, because I remember the dice bag story, <laughs> and you're throwing something like that. At me. No, no, it's like you can. You know, I would cut splinters. I don't think that that would be. A, well, yeah, it a, looked like anything would, out of wood. It looked. I don't like think it was would be down real well. I mean, it looked like he, he had a couple of coats of varnish on it. Might have needed that. some men wax or something, or some shellac to make it smooth. Shellac. Yeah, something. But uh, I wasn't touching it. <laughs> <laughs> like. I don't know what kind of yarn he's spinning. <laughs> you know, maybe Yeti wool. Maybe that's how he helps braid. I don't know. <laughs> it's a Yeti. It's a Yeti jacket. It's a coat of Yeti. That's where all the Yeti for, uh, clothing line comes from. <laughs> he just shaves a little bit, makes some... <laughs> whip stitches something together, and the North Face. I mean, <laughs> make the South God, Face. He's gonna hate us after this episode. <laughs> the South Face, and it's just. Chris's face on your ass. <laughs> and, you know, I, I still don't know what this uh, series of movies is you guys talked about. Which one? On the monthly uh, tabletop session. I don't know if I should mention it on. Well, go ahead. No, it was oh, it's, on... it's this whole. No, no, no. I know what you're okay. talking about. Okay. I know. <laughs> you, you know, when I give a disclaimer, you should have immediately gone to that. <laughs> you know, so I don't know what that movie series is. I don't know how. The, but, but, but We were playing a game called. And what we do is every now and then, there's no way to clean the couples, this up. The couples get together. Uh, me and my wife, Pat and Libby, Jim okay, and playing Angie, a game. playing a tabletop, playing game. a tabletop game. Okay, because Angie and Hump, real weird and all of a sudden. Like, like we all, this is it's more of a, a couples night out type deal. Like we all just hang out right. as a, as a couple, and uh, couples, whatever. Right. It's just a way for us to 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 hang out. And uh, Bill and and Heather were were in the last one. They ventured forth. Yeah. Okay. And we play a game called Thanks. It's kind of like Boulder Dash. Okay. Or apples to apples or whatever, where it says things that yada yada yada, and it, asks, it and everybody's got to write down the the their answer. It gets tore off on a piece of paper and put in a cup, and then whoever's turn it is. Mixes this through and pulls the names out and tell, like, reads out what the answers are. And then we go around trying to choose who said what. And the person who has the highest score wins. Like, whoever chooses the, the best stuff wins. Mm-hmm. It's a fun game. However, ass to mouth has become an answer for almost every question. Really? Yes. And because of who I am. I can buy the very, I think it was like third Astomouth that came out. It was like Astomouth 2. Because they thought they put two thinking that somebody else would put Astomouth 1. Yeah. Given the answer to the question. I took that answer, Astomouth 2, and a whole separate answer. And put them together and made a movie title. So you had Astomouth, Astomouth 2, That Stink Smell. Okay. And then that became Ask to Mouth 3, Ask to Mouth 4, like in, in a title with Ask to Mouth 4. Now we're, I think we're on Ask to Mouth 20. Wow. 
Like we're talking about Astamouth four. The or, whispering eye. It was Astamouth three. The poopening. <laughs> All right. Astamouth four. Curly's revenge. Wow. Astamouth five. I'm gonna have to look these up because like we had an entire list. I shit you not an entire list of the Astamouth movies up to to twenty. Uh, I you know. I think it was Astamouth 17, Cowboys in Training. <laughs> yeah, that's the one that's got the picture of the Cowboys. I was, <laughs> I'd seen that. I was like, you know, this is a joke that I don't understand. But I never so, really wanted to ask anybody. So, so like, that's where that came from. So that's why we have the entire running with. For some reason, I make movie titles out of whatever. And because I made one. Okay, I made two. We, I made one, and then somebody else came with the pooping. Yeah. Astamouth 4 came out, Curly's Revenge. I think Astamouth 7 was uh, uh, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jailhouse Rock was another one. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you know, we we had oh, a gosh. lot. Sidestep Punch was, was like Astamouth 9. Eight, you actually gave us eight, even though it didn't come in. The Buckeye Brown Eye is, Buckeye Brown Eye. is the official Astamouth eight. Okay. So, yeah, we have an entire series of, of, of fictional porn movies called the ATM series. So what's what's 20? I don't know. I don't remember. I was inebriated. Okay. So and there, I gave up my, no, I, I gave up my directorial role. Okay. To, or I gave up my not directorial I gave up my uh, um, scribe role to to Bill, so he was supposed to write down all oh, stuff okay. for that last one. So then, if Bill's listening, I guess twenty one could be Deep Impact. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there you go. We it need just to put that in, popped the group. in there. I don't know. <laughs> That's even worse. Yeah. Ask the mouth. 25. And, and there's going to be. It just popped the, in the there. The thing of it is that there's people that are wondering what that phrase means. And I. Google it. Yeah, Google <laughs> it. Yeah, we, we really, I mean, we've probably. I don't want to be responsible. We've crossed the line of good taste already. I, I, we've crossed the line into I'm, I'm inebriated. So. Yeah. And we still have an entire gigantic bottle that needs to be killed. Not for much longer. Ooh. 